Hi Susie, this is Lindsay. And we're just gonna go over your week three assignment. Love this first set, this is so great. I love the real raw emotion in here. Um, you know, she's laughing here, real genuine smile. I really, really like it. Um, and I love, I love the colors. I love, you know, this, this, you know, yummy blanket. This, um, and and her hat and everything. I just think it's really, really great. Um, my only thing, technically, is um, if you can kind of see this sort of halo back here. This sort of um, funky exposure halo, and that happens. And from what I'm looking at your image, that happens when you know you get a bit of burnout with the with this light here and. It's kind of hard to avoid, um, you know, it's especially because you're trying to expose right for her and, um, you know, you've, you've got this kind of very lower day, you know, end of the day light. Um, I, uh, you, well, you can do it, I guess, a couple of ways. Um, the longer way is to kind of expose for the back and then you can composite the images. Um, or, um, just, uh, you can see where it's white right here and, and where you've maybe lost some of the image detail. Um, and it's no big deal. You can see it's not that, it's not that super noticeable in this shot right here. Um, but then when you start to edit, you know, when you start to edit and, and throw in, um, actions and, um, hazes and things like that, it becomes a lot more noticeable right here. Now, it's not horrible, and I still love the shot, and I still think it's amazing, but I, I'll tell you from personal experience that when you print these, this will be noticeable, um, and and um, you'll hate it, you know? So it, it's just something to think about as you um, do your editing to really watch for. Uh, you know, I, I sort of do what, what I say is the, the real, um, you know, Mod Podge, uh, MacGyver version. But if like, if I see it in my raw, if I kind of see it and I love the shot and I haven't like, you know, and like I said, you can composite it, but it, it takes longer. And, um, it's not always something that you can see s straight away in camera. When you, if you've, if you're chimping and you look at your shot and you go, Oh, it looks good, you know, but you can't necessarily see it on your, on your, you know, on your screen, on your camera screen. Um, it's, it's hard, it's hard to notice. So, um, if I see it, I generally just kind of clone these extra bits out before I start to edit. Um, and, and, and then it works. It's not a problem. Um, so it's just something to look for because, um, like I said, like I love this so much, but I from from personal experience, when you print, you'll see this, and it and it doesn't, and obviously it doesn't look natural. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. So um, that's just something to think about. But I do absolutely love it, and so you could still essentially sort of kind of clone the the back bit of that out as well. Um, and maybe it's maybe it's just your um, web version. It could be just that, but. Um, yeah, I can, I can just see, yeah, you can kind of see it right here and, and where the exposure isn't quite right. And then as you've, as you've added your, your, um, editing on top, it, it always enhances it. Editing always enhances this kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's just something to think about. Anyway, really love it though. Really, really cute. Um, um, and she's your daughter, right? Yes. So, I mean, I love this. This is totally, it would be a framer in my house for sure. <clears throat> okay, next next shots. Um, love this again. I think the light is great. Um, I love the kind of series as well. This one right here being my favorite. Um, love I love his face. I mean I love his face here, and you can see more of the snow, but he's he's a little bit more covered. Um, and this one's really great too. Um, love these shots. Don't have anything except um that I would have given myself just a teeny bit more foreground um just because if this was a client and they wanted this um you know as a framed print or um a canvas this would cause you a bit of grief um but that's just that's just you know minimal and um great love it love it love it love the editing as well um and then oh my gosh 
when I saw this, it kind of took my breath away a little bit. I love this. I love that it's all dark, that there's just the light right here on the sky. Um, you know, I just think it is so, so cute and really, really great. Um, uh, it's like something I would like, you know, put up in my kitchen. You know, I, I just think it's so, so um, great. I think the lighting's perfect. I think the editing's great. Um, and I love all this, too. I, I um, you know, maybe maybe a touch more foreground would have been nice or to crop in a bit tighter um, just because of this blurred bit here um, of the sink. But um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Really, really great. And I know I know some people might go, oh, he's got shadow on his face. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it, it lends to the feel of the photo and, and what's going on. So um, I love it. I think you did a really great job and really, really great job in getting those emotions that um, Summer talked about. Um, so awesome week. And um, I'm looking forward to your very last week. Awesome job. Thanks so much, Susie. Bye.